Our presentation is on... Pizza, pizza, minuet. Pizza, 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 minuet. In this room, with a sign that looks like it came from a five-year-old's clubhouse, sit the incredibly powerful individuals which run the Dutch West India Company. And in 1620, they were having an incredibly important meeting about trading goods. I am Dutch. And I am the spaz known as West India. Today, I have called together this board of directors so we may discuss our pathetic trading situation. How is it pathetic? All we trade are for goods. Is that a problem? Of course it is. They don't bring in enough money, and I personally find the trade offensive and degrading. How do you find trading animal furs degrading? Oh, I think I understand it now. Honestly, we are behind in the trading world. Stupid Spain and stupid Portugal are all getting gold, and all we have is fur. Then what we need is someone to go out to the new world and find something else. Someone brave, honorable, and heroic. Someone stupid and gullible. Someone like... Peter Minuet. <laughs> I am here. Yes, yes. Good. You have your mission. Now go forth. <laughs> yes, yes, quite, of course, of course. And so, our brave, heroic, and honorable explorer set out on a journey to the New World on his trusty boat. The journey was very long and very treacherous. On his first day at sea, Peter Minuet woke up with a yearning for cheese. He looked out over the horizon, wondering if good cheese would fall from the sky. Don't worry, dear subtitles, I'm almost done. On the second day, he sat in a chair and contemplated whether or not the world were a cube. Would you like to know more about his journey? Yes or no? No, my God, please, no! 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 Fine, fine, I will rush the story along. And so, after his journey, he reached the new land and searched for new goods for nearly five years and then returned home on a long, very, very long, incredibly long, unbearably long, incomprehensibly long journey. Ah, I can't take it anymore! Ah. Back at the Dutch West India Company. So, dear Peter, did you bring back new goods? Wow, you have really outdone yourself this time. But he didn't actually do anything. Shut up! But he didn't bring back any goods. I don't want to hear any more noise emanate from your vocal cords, you stupid canine! Now, Peter, for your success, I would like to name you the, um, official, uh, director, governor, general of New Netherlands. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, of course, of course. And then he left that same year in 1626 to go back to govern New Netherlands. Then he bought Manhattan using his genius negotiating skills. <laughs> what a nice little piece of land you have here. Can I, can I purchase it from you? you? You can use the land with us. Here, here, here. Take 60 guilders. It's not really worth anything. Shh. But you can take it and be happy. Is the land mine now? You're welcome to use it with us. All right, that's nice, that's nice. Please sign here. And here. And here. <laughs> Back in the New Netherlands. Can I trade furs illegally? <laughs> but of course, but of course, go go trade your furs illegally. Nothing will happen because of that at all. No, no. What? He broke the law? Saw that one coming from a mile away. You mean like the time you thought you could see a squirrel a mile away and insisted on chasing after it? I... I don't like to talk about that. Oh, really? Then let me remind you. You ran out of an important meeting and dragged me along with you because you thought you could see a squirrel a mile away. And guess what? Please stop. Guess what? Mm-hmm. What? Was there a squirrel? Mm -hmm. 
What was that? No, there was no squirrel. That's right. There was, in fact, no squirrel. So you have nowhere to speak on the matter of seeing things a mile away. So shut up and let me work. As for Peter Minuet, fire him. And so Peter Minuet was fired from the Dutch West India Company. He would later help the Swedes found New Sweden and would eventually die at sea. Thank <laughs> you.